just continuing the mix. Really? <laughs> I'm seeing this blue and white all in this section here. And the bottom's really interesting looking. Okay, so we want to take that blue and purple to get it darker down the bottom. And if you create the bottom to be nice and dark, it's sort of a holding, like it almost like holds the, the eye into this area, or leads the eye into that area. Now that's the darkest part, so in this area I want to go lighter, and then I'll probably add some white to it, so we get this uh, burnt sienna color with the white, throwing that in there, and we're going to go in on top of it with, <clears throat> looks like a light, probably a light blue for the highlights. So we get all the base down first. Let's see. So we want to put the base down first. So that would probably be this color, the same color. We're going to put this down and let a little bit of the orangey tones shine through here and there. Kind of like I did here. I'm going to try to just leave a little bit. <laughs> That's cold. right. Did you jump in? <laughs> or, it does look a little cold. Well, we can make believe it's not. <laughs> See how that's feathering? I'm just going back and forth. Real fast, brisk strokes. Trying to get it all in there. Just to kind of fill it up. Now I'm going to... i got to blend this. This is still a little bit... strokey, almost. But I can go over top of it some more. Let's see. Okay, so then in this area we can just kind of add real quickly some highlights. So we're going to take white and the lightest blue. And that's going to give us the, that highlight. Mixing it up here. Stopping you again. Okay, here we go. 